Hello, I'm Matt and welcome back to Workshop. I have this friction folding knife and to keep it from opening my pocket I want a leather sheath for it. So let's get started. Here in the UK to carry a folding knife it has to be under three inches long, well the blade has to be, and it can't lock open. This knife does have a lock to keep it closed and not open the pocket but I find it awkward so hopefully this little slip leather case will hold it in place. To get a nice tight fit, a wet form to the leather around the knife. To protect the knife from the wet leather, I wrapped it in multiple layers of cling film first. I soaked the leather for about 20 minutes in the water. The water has to be warm, about blood temperature, so you don't damage the leather. After 20 minutes I formed it round the knife. I used some spring clamps to hold it in place and used some little off cuts of leather so that the clamps didn't mark the slip. I now just left it a couple of days in a warm room to dry. When it had dried I removed the clamps, pulled the knife out and then spread some PVA glue along the seam. I then clamped it all back up this would just hold it together to make it easy to stitch. I left it for another day to dry. The clamps could then come off for the final time. I marked out the stitching using a pricking iron. This doesn't penetrate all the way through the leather, just marks where the stitches need to go. I could then use an awl to push through the holes and open them up a bit. I stitched it together using a saddle stitch which means you have a needle on either end of the bit of thread. This makes an extremely strong and hard wearing stitch. When I got to the end of the row of stitching I went back through the last two holes to make it nice and strong then I could snip it off and melt the end of the thread. I'd cut the leather slightly too big so I had something to clamp onto now I could trim off any excess. To clean up the cut I used sandpaper to rub the edge down. A number two edge beveler rounded over the corners and my felt burnishers in the drill press could really bring up a nice shine on the edge. Here you can see what I did for my Swiss Army knife a few years ago. It's exactly the same leather, but now it's got a really nice dark patina on it. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe for more videos.